Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. It's Black Friday, 2021. And we have loaded up the RV and we're headed out. We're gonna do a little holiday camping down at Lake Whitney or the Brazos River. It's kind of confusing. We're going to Kimball Bend, a Corps of Engineer campground. So let's get on the road and head to Kimball Bend. Kimball Bend, Whitney Lake. We have arrived. We are in site number 35. Gotta be careful, there's, there's a lot of high speed traffic in this campground. High speed traffic. Let's do a quick site review of site number 35. Handicap, supposedly, Handicap friendly, but that's kind of hard to get to with a wheelchair. That little John Deere tractor is loud. But he's almost to his destination. Which is one of the, the highlights of site number 35. Right next to the big playground structure. We have a covered picnic table. Actually a nice big spacious covered area. Decomposed granite metal table wheelchair friendly you can park the wheelchair right there underneath it we got a barbecue cooker we have the ubiquitous lantern hook and two beautiful pecan trees that have no leaves on them but during the summer this would be a great place to camp and it looks like somebody's come through and picked up all the pecans now the site pretty level but it's, it's the caliche rock pad, which is kind of a, a challenge on the tender feet. We didn't have to use any blocks other than the jack pads. And that's mainly just to keep it from tearing up our, our fancy shoes. We are 3050 and water. End of the road. We're not the end of the road, but we're the, the last campsite on the road. All right, let me finish putting things together. We'll go see some stuff. One thing's for certain, Kimball Bend Park has some really great campsites that are like right on the water. So you've been out playing all day, playing in the water, riding in the boat. Kids are wearing you out because they had too much sugar. Well then just bring them over here to this beautiful playground. It's got a, a soft surface. Man, that looks like so much fun. I just might need to get on there. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you're coming out to Kimball Bend, you might be interested in learning. I know I was interested when I found this out. This was actually the point on the Chisholm Trail where the, the cattle were driven across the Brazos River. There actually used to be a town here called Kimball Crossing, but because it didn't have a railroad, uh, when barbed wire fences started going up and the prairies were uh, partitioned off into private land, the little town of Kimball dried up and became a ghost town. 
there are actually some ruins from the little town that are that are still here today so we'll go check those out well there's no sign here at Kimball Bend Park as to what this once was it was a building of some kind hey if you know what this building was so if you have any idea what this building once was post in post in the comments down there and let us let us know it would sure be a big help all right let's go see a, let's go see some more stuff kimball bend well we have another ruin another unknown ruin no signage telling us what this once was but it was a building all right let's go see some more stuff so if you're coming down to kimball gotta wait <laughs> there's lots of, lots of cars on the bridge so if you're gonna camp at kimball bend you might might want to pay attention to the weather because if it's raining you might not want to come camp here look how you can see that log stuck in the bridge I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. I'll try to zoom in for you. Well, that that's the would be the high water mark, and that would definitely put put the campground underwater. All right, let's let's go see a boat ramp. If you're coming out to Kimball Bend and you want to do some fishing, and you have a boat, you'll be happy to know they've got a boat ramp. Now it's very obvious that the water, water gets up here at, at Kimball Bend. You can see the, all the driftwood. So springtime might not be the, the time of year to visit Kimball Bend on Kimball Bend Park at Lake Whitney. At Whitney Lake. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. If you're in the equestrian set and you want to take your horse on a ride, you actually want to experience what it was like to ride part of the Chisholm Trail on horseback. Kimball Bend Park, which is across the highway there, right across the highway is a trailhead for the Hopewell Trail. It's 12 miles. It goes from Kimball Bend over to Lakeside, I believe it said. On there, on there, about Lakeside. It is a multi-use trail, so bikes and bikes, horses, and feet are allowed. I don't think it's scooter friendly because it says that horse the equestrian people need to be aware that the trail is very rocky and shoes are recommended so what is this right there all right let's go see some more stuff i've just finished doing the scooter run didn't take very long you know it's not, not a great big park thought i'd step back i noticed when we were setting up camp that there are a couple of openings in this pipe fence on the perimeter of the park. I don't know if that identifies as a trail. Looks like somebody came walking through here, but it's not a, definitely not a maintained trail. So if you want to go do some bushwhacking, I guess you can, they, they wanted to save you the trouble of having to step over the pipe to go bushwhacking. All right, stay tuned, more to come.
Coming up on the end of our first day here at, at Kimball Bend. Kimball Bend Park. Whitney Lake. You don't have much else going on? How about building a bonfire? So, site number, what site are we in? So, site 35. If you got little kids, it's a great site for you because you're right next to, you're, you're right there, ne ne you're, you're right next to the play structure. But, there's an additional advantage. And that is just on the end, other side of those trees. That's, that's where all the driftwood is. So when the park floods and they've got to clear the roads and the boat ramp, they got to have some place to dump all that driftwood. There are piles on the other side of those trees right there. Bring a saw. <laughs> I wish I had my saw. I didn't know that. And, I, and I, I looked at the saw when I was packing, I looked at the little chainsaw and said, yeah, we're not gonna need that, but we needed that. So, your heads up if you're coming to Kimball Bend and you wanna burn some driftwood, make sure you have a saw. Stay tuned, more to come. This has gotta be a first for, for the Dude RV channel. We're set up here out at Kimball Bend and there's a pig. I don't know if that's somebody's pet pot belly pig. Uh, it must be, because there's there's two more over there. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> you think those? Those are those are pot belly pigs. I don't know. I keep I don't know if they're feral or not. What is feeding them? Maybe they belong to a house here nearby. Potbelly pigs at Kimball Bend. Good morning from Kimball Bend on Whitney Lake. It has turned out to be a gray and dreary Thanksgiving weekend. The rain forecast keeps getting more. So it was 20% two days ago. Now it's 100% today. It kind of puts a damper on the Dude RV video production. We'll figure out what we're going to do. We've got a couple other places we're going to go visit here on the northern end of Whitney Lake. We're still going to go visit them, but I may not be able to do either one of those places justice. But we'll see. Meanwhile, we're going we're gonna to cook up some breakfast. I'm not going to put you through watching me cook another batch of bacon to make a bagel. You've seen that. I have videos dedicated to that. So that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. While we hang out at Kimball Bend. Well, the rain has arrived. Fortunately, I had enough time to go visit the other two Corps of Engineer properties, campgrounds that I wanted to visit. And had enough time to go round up some really dead firewood. I just gotta get it undercover. All right, stay tuned. More to come from Kimball Bend. Where are we? I plumb forgot where we are. Kimball Bend. Whitney Lake, Kimball Bend. If you're thinking, thinking about coming to Kimball Bend, be advised, there is no Verizon service, uh, and the AT&T seems to have three bars on, on the AT&T, but that's the modem built into the, the Super Duty chassis. Trudy Thunder, her onboard modem is AT&T. We seem to have internet access with that, but with the Verizon phones, can't even make a call. You have to get out of the river valley, because that's we're actually in a river valley. You go about a mile either direction 
to get signal. And even with the directional antenna pointed straight at, you can't make a phone call. We'll leave it at that. Met a couple of, couple of followers, a couple of new followers. Thank you for that. You guys are awesome. We found out that there are actually two different groups, I guess, herds, mini herds of pot-bellied pigs. There's the mama sow with her two shoats, and then there's two others, and, and we've been told that they don't intermix for whatever reason, but, but mama, mama pot-bellied pig been intermixing with somebody. Anyway, if you come out here, keep your eye out for two different sets of pot-bellied pigs running wild and begging food. Kimball Bend Park, Whitney Lake. Not much else, not much left to show you. There's just not that much stuff to see. <laughs> Got another big fire going. Right there, that's why we go camping. Bonfires on rainy days. And this is the, the ideal setup for the bonfire on a rainy day. Bonfire for any day with the, the big, big fire can behind us and the pavilion right here. I can actually sit 15 feet away from that and still feel the heat. Thanks to all that driftwood. I'm gonna wrap this up because this is gonna be nothing but dreary, gray, and rainy the rest of today. And tomorrow we'll be rolling with, with We'll be rolling at sunup. Stay tuned. You're gonna to wanna to click on that subscribe button because our next adventure is gonna take us down to Waco and we're gonna explore some Corps of Engineer campgrounds down that away. So make sure you click on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I am most grateful. I honestly am. That's why I get to come out here and build big fires in the rain. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?